Why are most scientists atheists if there is evidence for belief in God? By rich team belief in God a larger percentage of scientists in the United States are atheists compared to that in the general population. Do they disbelieve in the existence of God because of their intelligence, knowledge, and academic studies? A new study shows that disbelief is correlated with such mundane things as marital and family status and family of origin. Rich team introduction in the early 20th century, studies showed that scientists were less likely than the general population to believe in the existence of God when a survey conducted in 1969 showed that 35% of scientists did not believe that God existed too in contrast. Recent surveys on religious belief have shown that 90% of Americans believe in God and 40% attend a place of worship weekly. 3 is a lack of belief in God among scientists due to their higher intelligence and knowledge. A recent study was designed to look at differences in belief among scientists and other academics and what factors influence those beliefs. Religion and Academics Elaine Eklund and Christopher Scheidel questioned 2,198 faculty members in the disciplines of physics, chemistry, biology, sociology, economics, political science, and psychology from 21 elite U.S. research universities for overall, 75% of professors contacted completed the survey. Among the different disciplines, disbelief in the existence of God was not correlated with any particular area of expertise. Disbelief in God by academics for discipline percent physics 40.8 chemistry 26.6 biology 41.0 overall 37.6 sociology 34.0 economics 31.7 political science 27.0 psychology 33.0 overall 31.2. In fact, disbelief in the existence of God was nearly as high in the natural science as in the soft sciences. Earlier studies had shown a similar trend, with those in the social sciences regularly attended religious services less often than those in the life sciences too so, it doesn't seem that study in any particular field is associated with a disbelief in God's existence. However, several factors unrelated to areas of expertise and training did correlate with belief in God. It was found those scientists who were immigrants where belief in God is lower disbelieved in God to a greater degree than those who were born and raised in the U.S. In addition, the study found that scientists come disproportionately from non-religious or religiously liberal backgrounds compared to the general population, suggesting that at least some part of the difference in religiosity between scientists and the general population probably due to religious upbringing rather than scientific training or institutional pressure to be irreligious. Most interesting was the correlation between marital status and number of children on religiosity. Those who were married especially with children attended religious services more often. Those who were cohabiting were more likely than married scientists to believe there is very little truth in any religion. This could be a reflection of wishful thinking. Another reason why social scientists are atheists comes from the public perception of the social science profession 5 accordingly, children of liberals, atheists, Jews, and secularists perceive social sciences as more important issues compared with children from religious homes. Therefore, these professions have been abandoned by those brought up with religious backgrounds, leaving mostly secularists and atheists to fill those positions 5. Conclusion It is true that scientists believe less in the existence of God than the general population of the United States. However, the recent study by Eklund and Scheidel reveals that the most important factors in belief were related to upbringing and family status, and not area of expertise. The fact that social scientists as well as those in the natural sciences express nearly the same disbelief in God suggests that rejection of God's existence is not a result of knowledge in any particular area of expertise. It is likely that those who have rejected religious morality that is, those who were cohabiting wanted to justify their behavior by saying that there was very little truth in any religion. The conclusion by the authors. Instead, particular demographic factors, such as age, marital status, and presence of children in the household, seem to explain some of the religious differences among academic scientists. Most important, respondents who were raised in religious homes, 
especially those raised in homes where religion was important are most likely to be religious at present. Will you trust Jesus Christ now as your personal Savior? If you will do so, you will receive God's free gift of eternal life and forgiveness of your sins. Turn to Him now in faith, realizing you can do nothing to save yourself. To become a Christian, pray a prayer something like this. Dear God, I confess that I am a sinner, and I realize I can't save myself.